Okay, hey, this is Vance. Um, about two years ago, we bought a piece of property. We bought five acres up in the mountains, uh, mostly full of pine trees and, and uh, shrub oak and some aspens. Um, but the reason we bought it is, is as part of our endeavor to, to be self-sufficient and to kind of be homesteaders. We wanted to have some property that we maybe could eventually, uh, you know, do some more things with. So. Um, you know, maybe do some homesteading on it. So we've decided to build a cabin up there on the property um, and I'm doing it completely out of recycled pallets, completely out of recycled material as much as we possibly can. So far I uh, have built a foundation to go up there. It's actually already up on the property and in the next week or two I'm going to try to get up there and, and put the pylons in the ground. I'm doing 15 um, pylons that have got to be um, below the frost line up there so I don't get steep and get them moving around so I'm going to be going up there and putting in 15 pylons to hold up this cabin foundation. The cabin is going to be 28 feet long and um, 15 feet wide and it's going to be shaped like a barn in the uh, it'll have a loft on either side that'll serve as the bedrooms. So I've been breaking down pallets like crazy for the last um, year or so all winter long and into the spring I've been breaking down these pallets and um, I'm, I was going to be, I have nine inch thick boards, um, several hundred square feet of them that I've collected off of these pallets. And we're going to use that as the flooring inside the cabin. Some sheeting, some OSB down on there, some 7 16 or something like that. And then I'm going to be putting um, these two by nines on top. So these two by nines are, they're not in bad shape, um, but they did come from pallets. So they're not exactly clean. Some of them have sap or other things, um, you know, kind of seeping through, or some of them, um, you know, have some slivers or splinters. So I borrowed my brother's planer. He has this rigid planer. Um, and I'm gonna be just running all of the boards through there to try to get them all straight. Some of them are a little bit concave, have a little, have a little bit of warping in them too. So running them through the planer, I'm gonna get a nice smooth surface to work with. Um, I'm figuring I'm only gonna need to plane one side of the board so that, and that will be the, you know, the up facing side. And then I'm going to be, uh, you know, liquid nailing them down and screwing them down. And if, as long as I let that liquid nail dry, I figure the boards won't rock or anything, and they should be pretty. Um, it should be a pretty solid floor when I'm done. Definitely a heavy-duty floor when I'm done. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing today. Is I'm going to be testing out the planer and running a bunch of these through there and see how this works. I'm being very careful to make sure that there's no nails or screws or anything left in these boards because uh, I don't want to chip the blades and then have streaks in all my other boards. And I also figure I'll be able to run a, a heck of a lot more wood through it if I don't damage those blades. So I'm going to make sure that I don't have any rocks stuck in them or anything like that that could damage the blades. Um, another reason why I'm excited to run them all through the plane, the planer, is because I'm going to be able to completely recycle these boards and I, I figure when I'm done it should look pretty close to a new floor or like, like I use new lumber. It'll also give me a really good surface if I wanted to treat it with something or stain it. I'll have you know that those fresh pores and the wood. So I'm excited to run everything through the planer um, and see how this works. And I think it's going to save me a ton of time, um, you know, hand sanding or, or finding any perfections or anything like that once I have the floor in. So let's get going. Okay, wow, I am super, super excited about this. Um, this is awesome. I mean, this looks way better. These are, these are all very smooth. 
I mean, this is going in a cabin, so I expect it to be rough. I expect it to be, um, you know, distressed and antiqued. Um, but man, this is, they're so much smoother and more level. And, and some of these boards were, uh, you know, completely gray and with patina. I mean, you know, even darker than that. And when they come out, I mean, well, yeah, you can see how dark this board was. Um, when it comes out, it just looks, you know, almost like fresh new wood. I mean, obviously it's got holes in it and I'm going to be filling these with wood glue and sawdust mixed together is the idea. Um, I might even on some of the bigger holes, I might put a dowel in there and cut them off and then sand it off. Um, you know, glue some dowels in there, but uh, because it's going to have a subfloor underneath it, I don't need these really to stop, you know, airflow because it's going to be liquid nails screwed or uh, and screwed down to a subfloor. But, um, you know, I don't want these filling up with dirt and just collecting dust and people getting slivers. So I will be filling all of these holes as well. But man, that planer is, uh, is really awesome. That makes a big difference. So I'm excited to keep going. I have a couple hundred of these to go through. I'm gonna just keep going here and uh, get a whole bunch of these done. Awesome. I've run 150 to 200 square feet of flooring of this nine inch wide board through this planer, this rigid planer. Um, very pleased with the end product. I think after running about this much through though, the blades are definitely slowing down. Um, so I'll probably need to replace the blades. They're about 37 bucks for a set of blades, much more reasonable than I thought there it was gonna be. So here after I run probably another 50, uh, square feet of board through. I'll probably go and get some new blades. Um, so I'm very excited about the finished product and I think this will really speed up construction of the cabin, which is so important because I'm gonna have such little time up there on site. So everything I can do at home, it, it just, just is gonna help me out so much. So I'm gonna need a total of, geez, I think I figured, um, you know, 750 to 800-ish square feet of flooring. So I'm about a quarter of the way there. Um, which on one set of blades I don't think is too bad, especially considering that when I got the saw, the blades weren't brand new. 